Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea, and I'm the owner of Perfect Waxing. I am a waxing expert and multi award winner based in London. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can wax your customer eyebrows using strip wax, which I know that is a massive debate across the internet if we should use or we shouldn't use strips on our customer eyebrows. Just to remind you that strip wax also sometimes is known as soft wax and it is going to be applied with a tiny spatula in my case and also it's super super important to make sure that you prepare the skin properly. Unfortunately in this video I did not manage to record the step when I prepared the skin but I used a um, skin cleanser and then all the time I'm using a pre-waxing oil whenever I'm applying a strip wax um, or a soft wax on the eyebrows. I like to start from the middle and at this stage I'll also have a conversation with my client and I make sure that I mentioned with her that when I move to uh, the eyebrow a wax application she is going to keep her eyes closed. This is super super important. Whenever I remove the wax like in this case as you are seeing on the video I always have a soft press rather than a rub. How would normally we do it with a strip wax? We tend to press, for example, when we wax the legs, we tend to press couple of uh, to rub a couple of times, and then we're gonna pull the wax. In this case, I choose just to press very, very gentle on the skin because we don't want the wax to remove the top layer of the skin. Just a very, very gentle press. Now I move to the eyebrows area. I grab a clean strip all the time for each applic application you need the strip clean unless you can see that there is space left and you can fold it but in most of the cases especially if you are a beginner I highly recommend you to use a fresh clean strip all the time you don't want any wax residue left because in case you are applying the strip over the hairs that you are not meant to take them that is going to cause you trouble now one more time I'll mention to my client and I'll remind to her to keep the eyes closed. As you can see, I'm holding the skin very taut and I apply in a with a very, very gentle application the wax on the lower part of the eyebrows. Now, with the, le with the remaining wax that I have it on my strip, if I see any hair that has been left behind or perhaps hasn't been picked up by the wax initially, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna wipe the wax on that particular hair. Whenever I remove the wax from the inner part of the eyebrow or just above your eye, for some reason I always like to break it down in three pulls and work in smaller sections. Also, whenever I'm pulling the strip, I'm not going super super fast as I would do it normally on the legs area or maybe larger parts on the body. If there is any remaining wax left behind, I'll just gonna grab a clean strip and I'll just gonna pick up the small, small pieces of wax. So that way my customer will gonna have a nice skin. In this case, when I did that, I've seen that there are a couple of hairs left behind and now I'm just gonna go over again in, on a very, very small um, section and I'm not gonna go over the whole eyebrow again. One thing that I feel like it's super super important to mention to you i know that at the moment we are in the middle of a video and we still have one eyebrow left i feel like it's super important to make sure you have a chat with your customer and establish the shape of the eyebrows some people they like natural eyebrows some people they like a completely different shape some people they just like a simply tidy up so you have to make sure that you establish from the very beginning with your customer what exactly they would like to have done and in case it's someone that doesn't really know what exactly they want or perhaps you are at the beginning and you are scared to shape the eyebrows from the very beginning, I will suggest you to start with the tidy and you start applying the wax closer and closer to the hairline. So that way you are checking constantly with your customer. So at the end of the service, you are not stressed and the customer is happy with the results as well. Because at the end of the day, we are here to make sure that our customer get desired results and we build long-term relation with them, but making them happy with the services we offer. Now I'm going to move on the second eyebrow and I'm going to apply wax on the lower part of the eyebrows or just above the eye, you name it, however you would like it. And as you can see, I already changed the position. So I am, I'm kind of facing the customer. 
I personally like to work from the side of the bed um, and when I do the eyebrows depends which one it is I'm gonna just change my position according to um, the area where I'm working so that way I make sure that I make most of it and actually I see where I apply the strip because that is very important now that the service is close to the end, I'm going to check with my customer if she's happy. I'm going to tell her her aftercare and I'd like to invite her to book her next appointment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll invite you to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this.